I'm so sorry about all the stuff behind me. <laughs> we haven't unpacked everything yet. We're working on it, but I guess I shouldn't apologize though. I'm pretty sure everybody out there has moved before and you guys know how long it takes to unpack. It's just a nightmare. So I wanted to show you some things from Amazon that I have ordered about a week ago that have recently shown up. And for all of these, I'll go ahead and put the link down below in the description box. <laughs> I got this Cuisinart can opener. For years now, I have had the handheld can openers and I'm just tired of it. I don't, ha I don't feel like dealing with the drama anymore. I decided to <laughs> save myself some excessive stress and just get an electric one. I've used it a few times now. It works really well. I've got this cute, you just won't believe how cute this mixer is. Look at this little baby here. Oh, here's the, the front of it. It's so cute, right? It's just a little compact one. So the, the prongs are stored here and when you push, you can you'll unlock it, you can pull them out. Well, that's the theory anyway. Oh, there we go. There we go. So it's just a cute little mixer. It's got three settings. I don't use mixers a whole lot. I don't see a point in spending 50, 100, 200, 300 on one. For the amount that I use these, I feel like that was the right amount of money to spend. And I love that it's so little because I live in an apartment. I don't have a lot of excess room. That'll really come in handy because I cook a lot and I need a hand mixer. What else did we get, Marty? Marty's over here on the floor with me. Ah, yes. So my kitchen is red, black, and white. And the theme is cats. So I got this magnet for the dishwasher. I thought that was so cute. Dry vitamin E and the Now brand and this stuff. Oh, it's an antioxidant. Okay. I find it's very good for breast health. That was one of the things my doctor told me to start taking for breast health when I had some issues a couple years ago with feeling like I was, you know, they say do a self exam. I did one and every time I did it, I felt like, oh my gosh, there's another one, there's another one, oh, another one. <laughs> so this really helps ease some of those bumps that aren't cancerous so that if you do need to do an exam, it doesn't feel so lumpy. And So it's really good for breast health. And one thing I've been... Bless you, Marty. Always oh, sneezing. Are you looking up into the light? <laughs> um... One thing I'm having a hard time finding is one of our favorite, bless you, oh honey, one of our favorite coffees that we um, like to drink, which is the New England coffee and blueberry cobbler. I can't find this out here. Now, maybe it is out here. I just haven't found it. So I went ahead and just got it on Amazon. Price is right here. On to the shopping excursion that I did today. The first place I went was the Salvation Army, and I really like this. The Johnson is it Johnson Brothers from England, the the fine china. I really like it. So if I happen to see it at thrift shops, I'll get some. You should get me a really good deal there. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not going to argue. Here's the bottom of it, and I know it does have this chip right here, and it says six ninety five. But she gave it to me for a dollar. And then this is the Brook, the Brook Franciscan made in Staffordshire, England. So maybe this isn't Johnson Brothers, but it's close enough, right? Anyway, I love the way this kind of china looks. And I got the little teacup to go with it. With the chip, I know people will say, ooh, it's chipped. I don't care. It's going... In my dining room, I'm going to have two shelves that have a bunch of teapots on them. So when I saw this, 
I decided to put this up on the shelf. So up on the shelf, you're not going to see the chip anyway. It's a little bit too small for me to drink out of. I usually drink eight ounce mugs of tea. And I think this is a four or a six. I mean, it's awfully little, but pretty though. I love it. Okay, Brad and I needed a, um, a hook set for our towels in the bathroom. And I found this, which I thought was cute. Um, it was $1.99, so $2.00. And on the back, the tag says Hobby Lobby, which I would have bought it there anyway if, if I had seen it, but I'm sure it wouldn't have been $2 there. Let's see. Oh, no, $15. I just took the price tag off. $15 at Hobby Lobby, and I got it for, oh, I guess it's supposed to be sideways. But anyway, so I got it for $2, and we'll be hanging that up and using our towels on it, or drying our towels on it. That sounds better. I don't know if you are, I'm sure you are familiar with Jello molds. I've got one that's about this big and it's a wreath size, or it looks like a wreath. And I really like it. I've had it in my kitchen for years and I've always wanted some in the same color that are smaller to put on each side of it instead of it being by itself. I've been looking for years for the smaller ones to go on either side, and I've never found them anywhere until today. Green was half price today, so the price tag says $1.99. I got this for $0.99. Cents. It needs to be cleaned, obviously, but... And this one, too. It was half price, so it was only a dollar. So I'm going to put these above my stove like this on either side of the um, the one that's shaped like a like a bigger wreath than these two and then I got this <laughs> streamline brand mug that has the little top on it it's an inside joke um, I told my husband I think you might want to get this for your sister two dollars and I don't think it's been used to be honest with you I mean it looks looks very untouched to me. I'm sure somebody got it for somebody and they didn't think it was funny, so they just donated it, but this is a perfect thing for my husband to give to his sister. On to the Goodwill. That's the one thing. I might have mentioned this earlier, but with the Salvation Army, I think their prices are a lot better, and they have really good stuff there. That's where I got all of my casserole dishes. I got them for a dollar each, and they were Pyrex brand, which even better they just have such good prices and if you go with what's half off that day you can really get good deals and so it, it's always kind of picked over when you go in there because of that but it's worth going in there I think when I was talking about how I want to put these up on some shelves I have in my dining room I've got two somewhat large windows and I wanted to put a shelf above each window at least one shelf and put my tea cup, my teapots on there, and if I need more room, or if I don't have, if I don't have enough room on there for all the teapots, then I might have to get more shelves. But I know I needed at least two, and I only have one. So, at the Goodwill today, I found this shelf, and it's even got the little prong right here for plates, which is nice. Which I thought six ninety nine was a good deal. I am in in need of mixing bowls. After this move, we got rid of much all of them so I got this one I love these ones the little flex in them what are they called I don't even know let's see so this was a um, dollar 49 oh she gave it to me for half off well thank you darling so I paid 75 cents for it oh yeah because it was orange Jeez. today was orange day at the Goodwill so now I've been looking for this everywhere a shirt that is navy and white striped that I like. I never find them anywhere. I found one today. It looks like it was worn maybe once or twice. So that was half off, so it was $2.50 for this shirt. So I thought that was a good deal, and it's a cute shirt. So I'll go ahead and wash it and wear it. I don't know if um, 
any of you had heard in previous videos that I have uh, another page where I read children's books, but I do, and uh, Pete the Cat is one of the series that I like to read, and I found this at the Goodwill today for $1.99. Then, I have a tin toy collection that I wanted to put up in my office because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. They have this set of shelves. Here's a picture right here of what they are. As you see, this is still in the plastic and it's never been used, so I will not be complaining. It looks like on the back it was originally sold at Target. And the price on it is $4.99. I paid $4.49 for it. We have switched our decor in our bedroom to be kind of like the forest. <laughs> Don't know how else to explain that. Eventually I'm going to do a apartment tour after all of this behind me is unpacked and we have all of our furniture purchased and in place. We don't have any furniture either right now. I saw this in the Christmas section for $2.99 and I really like it and I decided that I will get this and uh, use it as a ring holder but all year long because to me that matches a forest theme. And the one I have right now is like a really bright teal and it really doesn't look right in there. The last item that I got was this mixing bowl. Like I had just mentioned, I need mixing bowls and I got one of these that was red at the Dollar Tree and it, it's okay, but it's really flimsy. I mean, it feels like I'm gonna break it any minute now. I wanted one just like it, but sturdy because I really like the shape of it and I like having this little, what is this? I don't know, this lip. I like having the lip on the front of it. I like having the, the handle. And this is really, really sturdy. And it's uh, it's Rubbermaid brand, so it's a much better quality. Um, it was $3. And then, I don't know if you can see this on here. It's got the measurements right here. And it's got it on both sides. So it goes all the way from 2 cups to... 12 cups or three quarts. So I thought that was really a good find. And I wanted to give you an update. Brad had mentioned recently that I've never been to Del Taco and it's his favorite fast food taco establishment. So last night he took me there and I have to say, I love it. I will agree. I think it's better than Taco Bell. If you want to come after me on here, go ahead and leave your comments. But I do. I think it's better than Taco Bell. Do you guys go to thrift shops to find things? And if so, where do you go? And what do you what do you look for in there? I personally am just a thrifty person. I don't see the point in spending full price for things if you don't have to. And I also don't see a point in not recycling. A few weeks ago, I went to, with my mom, we went to the, the Goodwill outlet where they bring out the bins, people run and they, you know, practically beating each other up to get things out of the bins. And then what people don't take within a certain amount of time, they go through, they crush it and throw it in a landfill. I feel like why not get my mixing bowls and my casserole dishes and stuff like that used and save it from a landfill if I can for less money than going and buying it in the store for more money, you know, using all the resources that go into that as well. So that's just my personal take on it. It's just how I am. I feel like the more money I don't spend on things, the more money I have to go enjoy time with my husband out on dates and, and doing fun things. And to me, that's a lot more important than buying new things. <laughs> Let me turn the music down here. I got Artie Shaw playing. <laughs> Do you know who Artie Shaw is? That's better. Okay. I just got done at the Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you what I got because I was pretty happy with what I got. They have they have this Jot brand that they sell that I actually think is pretty decent. 
I like to get their um, their little notepads and the post-it notes and that kind of stuff. I, I don't find them to be cheap per se, so I like them. This brand, Jot, has these little magazine holders or file holders that they sell there now. And uh, so I got four of these. One thing I've been noticing going through things is that I need some of these. When I saw them in there, I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to afford to buy any anytime soon because, shoot, I see them other places. They're like 20 bucks each. Are you crazy? I'm not spending $20 on, on those things. They had a clearance rack and on the clearance rack, I guess this was originally a three pack maybe because it was 50 cents for two of them. So I went ahead and got that. I am in the market for snack clip. I got two more. I got a bottle cleaner. Now I do not have a baby at home, but I do have those glass bottles that I put water in, stuff like that, that I want to be able to clean. And so I like to always have one of these at home. Brad has finally accepted what I've been telling him for a long time, which was, which is that you have to have saline spray for your nose. Now that we're in a drier environment, it's really starting to bother him having such a dry nose now. So I got him some saline nasal spray. I got these bottles. Speaking of salt water, um, I like to gargle with salt water at night and I like to have something that the salt water is in that I can kind of spray in my mouth to gargle with it. These are BPA free. The second one, I get this um, olive oil that comes in like a kind of like a tin can kind of thing. It's very messy trying to use it. I love the olive oil. I love the flavor, but it's messy. I like to put my olive oil in something like this so that I can very easily tilt it and put it in my food. I'm working on something for my living room that has some duct tape on it. Bought one of these for it. And then I got a little purple one. The purple one is for the magazine or document holder boxes that I got. I wanted to use that, you know, around the bottom like the outside bottom just to kind of keep them nice and strong. I got some of this Arrowhead bottled water. I don't really like to use bottled water. Um, I prefer to drink tap water, especially here. I think the tap water tastes pretty good actually, but I don't like the way the tap water tastes with my coffee when I make coffee in the morning. And I thought, well, that sounds kind of strange. So I mentioned it to Brad and he actually feels the same way. Like our coffee doesn't taste the same out here. So I decided to go ahead and get bottled water just to try it and see if maybe it helps. So we'll see how that goes. I got two of these, a toilet bowl cleaner. I got some off-brand um, disinfectant wipes. I like to use these when I'm cleaning in or around the litter box. And I've been in need of some air freshener. So I got these. I'll tell you what, I am I I try to get the more natural air fresheners, but I'm tired of spending six to eight dollars on one tiny little can of air freshener for the natural ones. That's just freaking absurd to me. Anyway, this one says it's got essential oils in it. Now, is it healthy? I don't know. I'm just so tired of spending so much money on natural air freshener. I might go back to making my own air freshener again because I'm just, I don't know. I'm over the cost of buying it natural. And the last thing I got was Donald Duck Fruit Punch. You want to see how it tastes? Let's try it, shall we? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. This is really good. You know what? See how it's like... I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's quite a bit more clear than it usually is for these kind of drinks. It's not syrupy. No corn syrup is in it. So, I'm going to tell you, that I really like that. <laughs> That's one thing I'm trying to really avoid is corn syrup. I don't, I don't like how it makes things taste so thick and gross.
So I wanted to have a little talk with you guys. This made me think of it. I guess I just want to let the world know that I'm, that I just don't care anymore. And what I mean by that is, I mean, of course I care. Don't get mad. Of course, I, I still love you guys. I, I care. What I mean is, I don't care anymore about, where do I start? When I turn on the news and I hear, eggs are bad for you. Don't eat eggs. Then the next day, eggs are good for you. Eat as many as you can. Then the next day, bacon is officially bad for you. The next day, bacon is good for you. It's like, I feel like... I feel like I'm just being trying to, it's like they're trying to scare me into submission. And by they, I guess I mean the news. I don't know. Um, but then it might be some of the businesses too, you know, that are selling different things. I'm tired of, you know, being, hearing these things and thinking, oh my gosh, I can't eat it anymore. Um, and then I, I turn on a different channel or YouTube or something and I'll see a woman who's 102 years old full of freaking energy mentally alert happy beautiful skin and they say wow what do you have for breakfast every day and she says bacon and eggs I've been eating it since I was a little girl you don't say but it's really bad for you huh and it's like and then they say well it's so fattening oh, okay but then the woman that I'm talking about is thin. Now, obviously, you know, she's probably, she was active in, in what I saw her in. So that's probably a huge part of why she's thin is that she's active. But I don't think it's a huge secret that that's probably why most people that are thin are thin is because they're active. So I'm just, I'm done with like, don't eat that. This is in it. I don't care anymore. I don't want to know about it. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I'm going to make the best decisions that the, what I think are the best decisions for me and my husband and what we eat. And that's it. I don't want to hear about it. I'm not going to be doing any of the fad stuff. Okay. No quinoa, no kale, no edamame, you know, unless it's something I've been eating for a long time and found it to be good for me to like the way it feels or, or, you know, unless my doctor is telling me to do something, I am not going to listen anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm tired of it. It adds so much extra stress to just daily life to have to constantly alter what you're eating, what you're buying. Oh no, only one store sells it and I have to drive 45 freaking miles to get it. Or, you know, it's just, it's too much. I'm also tired of the news stop scaring me okay it's like no matter what you believe politically they're trying to scare all of us into submission they're trying to scare all of us into voting for them and what do they do when they get elected that bang so I'm just like you know what I think I'm done with politics too I just I don't want, you know, I don't want to be scared anymore. I don't want to be stressed out anymore by, you know, life is stressful enough, paying bills, working. I don't want to deal with all that crap, you know, and um, I just want to surround myself with as much positivity and happiness as I can. That's where I'm at. So that's what I'm going to do. If you want to tell me that you don't think I should drink this, I mean, go ahead, Bob, and have this thing. I'm going to live my life. And you can live yours. And we can be friends. As you know, I am living in Las Vegas now. I just looked over, and a billboard says, Huffy Delivery. Cannabis delivered 24 hours a day. So I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Brad showed me <laughs> in the mail. There was a flyer for like a roto router, but because it's in Vegas, 
It was this chick in Daisy Dukes that was like straddling, what is that, a jackhammer or something? And we just thought it was the funniest thing. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this place. People ask me, do you miss Florida? No. Mm -mm. It's like, well, what? Do you miss anything about Florida? Mm. You know what I miss about Florida? I miss the ducks and the birds that they had there. Like, there was a pond by our old apartment, and there was these pretty ducks and birds, and, and we used to like watching them. That's it. Jeez. Oof. Okay. Sorry. I thought that guy was going to hit me. There is literally nothing else I miss. So, I'm so sorry if you love Florida and you're from there and I mean, good. You know, I'm happy for you. And I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but it just was not for me. I'm not saying it sucks. I'm saying it sucked for me. And I'm happy to be gone. I will only go back if I'm forced. <laughs> no, my husband still has some family there, so we have to go back, the, you know, for that. But, I, okay, I do miss my sister-in-law and her husband and my niece and two nephews. I do miss them. But I didn't get to see them a whole lot when I lived there because we lived a little, we lived like almost two hours apart. So I missed them even when I lived there. So that's not really any difference for me. I missed them there. I will miss them here.